Greetings, darling. <laughs> ah, it's always so wonderful to see you here. Well, I have a progress update. Yes, following the advice of a uh, certain Mrs. Fenlon, I have been researching and uh, looking at all aspects. The toesies, the feetsies, whatever you decide to call Well, uh, I was given various bits of advice on what aspects of the feet appeal. Uh, apparently, things like toes and arches and going barefoot and wearing high heels and crushing fruit. I, I, I don't really I will endeavor to explore the different ways I can do things with my feet to earn money. Oh, I have a new blind friend. Do you like it, darling? I hope you like it. <laughs> I have no so what to say if you want to uh, not that it's easy to read notes blindfold. Yes, that's right. Even witches prepare. Is it a surprise to you, darling? <laughs> I hope not. <sighs> well, I have also been exploring more of the world of the Anima. Things such as maids and, and cat girls. Yes. Returning to that first one. The things that I found quite interesting about the old Japanese motion picture uh, uh, moving image thing. Their depiction of, of maids is quite interesting. And furthermore, I, I found out that there are indeed maids. There are maidens who dress in, in frilly aprons. And serve their masters. And these girls, they are. they work in cafes. Yes. And uh, they don't really appear to do any cleaning. Which is rather odd for someone who dresses like a French maid to not do what French maids do. But I'm here to learn, darling. 500 years is a long time to, sp to spend in a cottage in the woods, so... The world has moved on. Back in my day, maids were maids. Cats were cats. Now... Oh, I don't really know now. Uh, right. After watching further um, things, I have learned various things. What makes the female attractive on the uh, Nile? And one of the things I have learned is that there are various things that make women attractive, such as stockings and knee-high and thigh-high socks and uh, twin pairs. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, things such as, uh, playing hard to get. Yes, I believe, I believe they have a specific word for that in the old Japan. I believe they call it a sundari. I wonder if I could be a little sundari, darling. I don't really like you, darling. Oh, no, I can't keep that. Uh, I love you, darling. You're the best. I also have some interesting news to share with you. I am now a full-blown weeb. What is a weeb? No, it is not that magical green herb that you take, eat, and make you makes you laugh. No, no, no. It is a different type. 
possibly useful to take while watching V and I, but <laughs> anyway. The uh, the weeb is a name in the West for a fan of the Japan. And uh one of the things I did recently, which which gave me a surprise, I, I watched many many episodes of the uh Jeff the Demon and the Demon Slayer peoples. And uh I had a dream. I did indeed, my dear. I had my first anime dream. And in this dream, I was a, a demon, a lady demon. And I was trying to seduce Jeff. Only he kept rejecting me, so. Sounds about right, doesn't it? Only my luck. Thanks, Jeff. In my dreams. I'm a man. Anyway, I figured my first anime dream. That means I am a full-blown weeb. And so to celebrate my weebness, I made a purchase. <laughs> Feet first, darling. That's right. This strange device that I have here, nestled between my uh, arms, is, uh, apparently they were originally used by pregnant women to help them sleep. Anyway, the degenerates on the internet, they learned different things, much better things to do with them than be pregnant. Now, this, darling, uh, appears to be from a children's series. Uh, yeah, so it, it is a an anime for children. And the, the best thing about this one is it's double sided. <laughs> it has two sides. Isn't that wonderful, darling? That way they can't get lonely. And if you get bored. <laughs> ah, isn't that wonderful? The wonderful inventions of the Weeb fandom. They do not cease to amaze me. <laughs> ah. Be gone. Yes. Now, to further understand what it means to be an anime fan, let me check my notes a little bit. Something, something, Dakimato or something. Okay, so basically what I'm going to do is, uh, like an alchemist, spending all of their time slaving over books and potions into the small hours of the night, running from the Inquisition, I shall eat, sleep, and breathe a night. was actually the part where I was meant to tell you about the thing, the pillow thing. I got a little ahead of myself. <laughs> I couldn't help myself, darling. If I can't hug you in bed, at least I can hug you. Or maybe I will explore further options for my hugging nighttime friends. We shall see. After all, I'm Berg right now, so I, I can't really, I can't really help. I can't really afford. If, if anything, the, the one I got was really, really cheap, so that was sort of that was sort of the idea. You know, just, just in, case, in case I didn't really, I didn't like it, or it was poor quality. Yes. Anyway, my darling, <laughs> I shall engage in further research about what it means to be a beautiful female. I shall watch further the animations of the Japan and I will learn all the things I need to know 
in order to become the ultimate person who sells feet pictures online. Until next time, my darling. It's really hard to do things with gloves.